All right, this is Drops in the Bucket, Lesson 12. And of course, put your name up here, your class number if you have it, and the date over here somewhere that you're working on this page. And then when you're ready, let's start with number one. All right, so we have a fact family triangle. We're back to our fact family triangle. And remember, we can start here with these factors and go that way. So six times eight, and that's our product, 48. Or we could go the other direction. We could flip-flop those factors. 8 times 6, still our product is 48. So when we flip that around and we do division, uh, if we had 6 groups of 8, so let's take those uh, 48 and divide them into groups of 8. That gives us 6. If we had 48 and we divided them into groups of 6, we would have 8 groups. There we go. I'm going to erase these lines over here so we can go on to number two. All right, so addition right here, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 2, 2,629. All right, subtraction over here, 6 take away 1 is 5. You can't take 6 away from 0, so we have to come over here and regroup. So now we have 10, 6 away from 10 is 4. 7 take away 7 leaves us nothing, and 7 take away 3 is 4. So 4,045. All right, pounds and ounces. So on this one, we need to remember that 16 OZs, 16 ounces, is the same as 1 LB, as 1 pound. 16 ounces, the same as 1 pound. So if we have 16 or more ounces over here, we need to regroup those as a pound. So here we go. 12 plus 5 is 17. Right, so hopefully that little alarm went off. We need to take 16 of those away. So if we take 16 of those away, that only leaves us with one. And we're going to take those 16 and we're going to turn it into a pound. So that leaves us with one OZ, one ounce. And now we have eight LBs over here, LBS or L, yep, eight pounds over there. All right, subtraction over here. We have to take this dollar away. So it leaves us with $45, and we're going to turn that into 90, 10 cents. So now we can do our subtraction. 10 take away 4 is 6. 9 take away 1 is 8. Bring our decimal point straight down. And 5 take away 5 is nothing, but 4 doesn't change. So $40.86. All right, our multiplication. Remember, go straight up. 4 times 5 is 20. So there's our 2 there. And then go this way. 4 times 7 is 28, 29, 30, right? So 300. All right, 3. Separate these 16 into 4 equal sets. So remember, I always like to jump over here and go, what times 4 is 16? And that answer is actually 4. So um, we can find 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can see that we have four sets, and each set has four in them. So this is one set out of four. This is one set out of four, one out of four, and one out of four. So over here, we can see that one set out of four, or one-fourth of 16, is four. All right, measurement. A is at, so we have to start at zero, one big hop, one big inch, one whole inch, and then... Remember that this line is our half-inch line, right? Because it's halfway. And then you can see that that means one out of those two hops, right? So that's one of the two hops. It's the same as two out of four, but we like to write it in its most simple form, one half. Uh, B is at one whole inch, two whole inches, and then one, two, three. So two whole inches and three out of the four hops. C, you could see, is at four whole inches, right? We'd have to go to four whole big hops, so four inches, and then just one little hop out of that, right? And then it says put a D at six, so just right above six, right D. Six whole inches there. All right, number five. Uh, so we're rounding to the nearest dollar, and so $9.20, so it's more than nine, less than 10, and if that's our 50, right, we're comparing... 20 to 50. Well, 20 would be over here, so it's closer to 9. Uh, $6.35 is between 6 and 7. 
I just paused because I saw the subtraction sign and it made me worried that I, I'm going to go back really quickly to that, that page. Nope, that was addition. Okay, good. Whew, made me worried that I had miss. I didn't see that subtraction. Okay, so 35 cents again. This, if this is our 50, 35 would be over here somewhere, and so 6. So we're going to, our equation is 9, we have 9, take away 6. So the difference is 3. So it's about $3. All right, number six, how much money is this? So that's a nickel. These are nickels. That's a quarter, dime, 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 and dime down there. All right, and then let's start with our biggest coin. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. Oh, that was weird. And 75. Okay, so we have 75 cents. Well, my brain immediately went, I know it's going to be 25 cents, right? Because 25, 50, 75 a dollar. Uh, but if you wanted to do the subtraction, you can do this. Uh, we're going to turn that dollar into 90, 10 cents. And then you got it. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 7 is 2. 25 cents. All right. Number 7. Jack weighs 85 pounds. Ann weighs... 68 pounds how much weight added to Anne's side would make the children balance so we need to kind of find the difference right we're trying to find we're trying to how much more would we need to add to Anne's weight to get to 85 so we're going to find the difference right so if if this is our if this is our um comparison bars this is Anne. So Jack is 85 and Anne is 68. How much more would we need to put there? What is that? We need to figure out what that amount is, right? And the way we do that, right, is we take that 85 and we subtract what we know. So we're going to take that 85 and 68. And if we take those away, it's going to leave us with that unknown. So 85 minus 68. So you can't take... That's 15. Uh, so 7 and 1. So 17. And what are we counting? We're counting pounds. And remember, we can use our LBS. It's our abbreviation for pounds. All right. Number 8, time. Show the same time on both clocks. So remember, we always start with this long minute hand. And we can count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then 46. So 46. So it's 46 minutes since it was the hour. And then we look at this hour hand, and we can see it's between the 2 and the 3. So it's in this hour. So it's in the 2 o'clock hour. Um, so it's been 46 minutes since it was 2 o'clock. Let's look at number 9. Lines which intersect. Intersect means to cross each other. Lines that intersect have equal length. Well, maybe, but that doesn't tell us that they meet or they are very long or very short. Well, another word for cross is meet. Like, hey, I came to cross my friend. Like, I met my friend. So we're going to go with that. Number 10. Uh, this has been cut into three pieces and all three are shaded. This square has been cut into six and all six are shaded. So there we go. That's lesson 12.